And it's like, I don't know. Sometimes Teddy just be getting on my nerve. You know what I mean? Like, we, what are we doing? It, it, like, what do you. Okay, so like when he comes in the house at night, he'll just like leave his shoes in the middle of the hallway. What are you supposed to do? You go to take them off, go to bed. No, you're supposed to like move them out the middle of the hallway so I won't trip over them. Because if I'm if I come in the house after you, I'm like gonna trip over your shoes. So, okay, I mean, so he wears you, like a size twelve. Like the, so you walk him but not looking down. Gosh, what? You, no, I mean, sometimes I'm closed. rushing in the house, or if he forgets to cut the light, off, you know, on, then I'm like walking in and I don't see these big old size. Oh, shoes. okay, I guess you say so. He opened the door and the shoe is right at the door in the middle. Of the right. Oh, okay. And then yeah, if I had groceries and stuff, I'm like, it's like just move <laughs> your shoes to the side. Like I even bought like a little one of them little shoe racks that you literally just like put your shoe in. It's that. Oh, uh, so he definitely tripping. Yes, like I don't know. It, yeah. It'd be like little stuff that gets on your nerves sometimes about you know. But y'all, house. but y'all cool with him, right? Yeah, no, I love him. It just, it just yeah. he still gets yeah. on my nerves sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I feel you. I can't wait till I find somebody. But until then, I'm, you know, I'm rocking that single life. Yeah, I mean, are you ready for that world? I just wait for what being a uh, relationship to like merge worlds with somebody. You ready for somebody to get on your nerve? I mean, that's you know, that's a great question because that's that come with the relationship. I thought. Yeah. But, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be a person getting on my nerve because they're the wrong person though. And that's that's kind of why I'm still single. Well, I, it's not the it's not the only reason why I, I'm single because I'm great. I'm fantastic. I'm. I feel like that. you're single because you're focused on self. Is that not true? Okay, tell me why you're single. What you mean? I'm focused tell on me, self. Tell me why you're single. <laughs> <laughs> let me, just, just let me this have is, an unbiased opinion. Okay, this, this, this is the thing. This is the thing. People look at being single as like it's, like it's a curse mark or something nowadays. I know people want to be in relationships so badly. And I, and I understand and I get it. Right. But people don't realize they want or need to be in a relationship so badly takes away from them to where they're not elevating themselves as they should be. So when they get into the relationship, they know how to not lose themselves. They know who they were stepping into a situation. So you can understand when you start to lose yourself versus you get to the end and realize I lost myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Cause I mean, when you focus on self, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're selfish, but like, like you said, you've done all the work, right? Yeah. The inner work to That's the thing. That's why I'm mm-hmm. saying that's why I'm saying I'm single. It's not the fact that I can't get nobody. Right. You know, it puts that it's not hard to do. People don't care about they heartbroken nowadays. People don't care about that. They they want to have a relationship and they were like they idea of a relationship is, oh, we're gonna be happy. We're gonna right. take trips, we're gonna go on dates. But like you said, they're not thinking about the the aspect of them getting on your nerves, the disagreements, the arguments, them trying to understand each other. And I think about that. And being that I've worked on myself, I mean, I've worked on myself. And I'm still working on myself. But then when you're trying to date somebody, talk to somebody, they sitting back and just asking questions, what you can bring for me versus what can mm. we bring to each other. So as soon as I start talking to somebody, first thing, so the team just said they so focused on what I can do for them. What your attributes are. Yeah, they're not looking how we can mesh well together. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to rock that single life until then because I, until until people understand that, they starting off wrong in it to begin. So you're choosing to be single. Hey, you you chose to be in a relationship. Yeah, I mean. You choose. Everybody choose. choose? You're right. Okay. So he made it. (laughs) Well, you know, I I beat Teddy now. I hit Teddy. (laughs) (laughs) Don't get me started now. That's what I'm saying. Everybody has a choice of being single or everybody has a choice of being in a relationship. Right. It's, Nobody's forcing you to do anything. Like you said, it's not a curse. And I do feel like society puts this huge, um, just like kind of stigma over being single as if it is a bad thing. And exactly. if there were no singles, there would be no married people, right? Because they had to meet when they were single. Exactly. So it's good that the world is filled with single people because eventually when those single people decide to settle down, boom, you now have married people. Because <laughs> it how many married people get a divorce. That part. And they you back know, out like, single. And they back single. They back, <laughs> they back in the single pool. You know what So saying? why would I even put myself through that? Not right now. I'm just like I said, I want to focus on myself and become a better man. So when I do get that woman, I can already be that man for her versus I have to learn how to be a good man or a, a, a man, period, with her. So I want to focus on that, and then by me focusing on 
me being a better person, me, me being a better man, the woman I'm supposed to be with is going to see me as that versus mm-hmm. I have to get with her, then learn how to do all these things, the things I should have learned before. And it won't be no excuse where I was taught this. Yeah. I wasn't taught that. Right. You know what I mean? So I do feel like it takes good people a little longer to like find their spouse. So, you know, I mean, I laughed at you when you said like you're single because you're great, but I, you are great. (laughs) (laughs) I appreciate it. Um, I just, I just, but I understand that because it's like, you're not going to settle. You Absolutely. know, and when you've done all the work, you're not just about to let anybody come in your world and just mm. drop they, sh- you know, that's and exactly dump all their garbage on exactly. you. Exactly, because I refuse to be that person. I refuse to just expect a woman to deal with all my baggage. I refuse. Mm-hmm. So while I'm single, I'm just focused on getting that baggage off of me, getting myself to a state of mind to where she don't have to worry about these things. I don't have to worry about these things. Mm-hmm. You know. So when I say I'm great, that's the reason why I say it because I. And what you just said about a lot of good people stay single, I don't think it's about them being good. I think because they care about themselves. Right. You know, a lot of people don't, I think too many people just don't genuinely think or care about themselves enough to protect their heart from other people. Mm. They give their heart to somebody expecting that person to automatically love them Mm because you love them. So you think you're going to get it in return, but they may not do it. You know what I mean? Also, they're loving with stipulations. My point. Mm. Instead of just like being selfless and what I give you, this is what I present to you. Exactly. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. that that that's a thing within itself. But yeah, I'm 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 a bad boy. (laughs) I'm a bad. Well, I know a couple of eligible bachelorettes. Whenever you're ready, okay. I know. I know you're my Tiffany. Oh my God, uh, Tiffany is one of them. I know you ain't talking about Tiffany. Tiffany. She absolutely annoying. I know, but Tiffany be, you know Tiffany be true. I mean, she got her ways, but ain't nobody perfect. 